All right, we've got our project set up. So what we'll do now is install React Native Navigation, which, as the name suggests, will give us a way to navigate. So I've gone to Google and I've typed in React Native Navigation. Again, you don't have to do this. You can just copy along with me if you want to. Um, but anyway, go to the top link and I'll go to Docs at the top here. And if I scroll down here, there'll be a command I need to install. So I need to run npm install react navigation uh, slash native. So go ahead and type that out in your terminal. So npm install react navigation native. And let that install. And if you go back to your browser and scroll down again, you should see another command to install the dependencies. So uh, I'll click copy on that and it's expo install and then two of these uh, dependencies. So I've run that just as you did the one above. And we should be good to go now. Let me just check. Yep, I think we are good. But if you scroll down, um, the first thing we need to do is uh, use the navigation container element that comes from the React Native navigation package and wrap our app in that. So that's super simple. If I go back to, uh, if I go back to VS Code and uh, at the top there, I'm going to say, import uh, navigation provider uh, and then I'll say from and then at react navigation slash native like that. So we've got that element now. I'll go to my app which is right here in app.js and all I need to do is wrap my app in this. So I'm taking the closing tag as well and I'll put it uh, all around the both, uh, both the views and now we're good to go. So anything inside this navigation provider is able to use React Navigation. Okay, cool. So what do we want to do? Well, if I'm going to show you how to navigate, we're going to need a few screens. So our screens would be the pages we're on. So I'll go to my uh, file explorer in the top left, and I'm going to create a folder in there called screens. And now I'm going to create a screen in here. We can have a home screen, .js. Make sure you use uppercase characters as well for the uh, first letter. And what I'll do is I'll copy the whole of app.js. So I'll select all from app.js. Let me move this over a little bit. Might be easier to see. And I'll move, make that a bit smaller. So uh, yeah, I've selected all from app.js using Command-A or Control-A, and I'll paste it all in there. Now, we don't need the navigation provider in this one, so get rid of that line. And then I'll also get rid of it from here because we got rid of it from the import. Uh, get rid of that. I'll also get rid of the status bar. We don't want that. And uh, in here, I'll just write some text that lets us know we're on the home screen. Home screen, like that. Okay, and then change app here to home screen, and then that's it. Oh, I can get rid of the status bar uh, import as well since we got rid of that line. Okay, cool, this is our home screen, so save that. And then what I'll do is copy it again. Let's create another screen. This can be the um, settings screen.js. And I'll paste that there. And I'll change home here to settings. And I'll also change the name of the export uh, to settings screen. And I'll create one more screen. And that's going to be the saved screen.js. So this will be the uh, screen that lets us access our saved translations. And I'll paste all that code again. And it's not going to be home screen. It's going to be saved screen. And the same here. All right, give that a save. We've got three screens now ready to use. So back in app.js is where we're going to put the uh, navigation stuff. So the first thing we'll do is get set up with a stack navigator. Now, if I go to here, um, do we have any documentation around on this page? So I'll search for it here. I'll say stack navigator. And I'll click on this one here, stack navigator. If you can't find this, you can just search for stack navigator and you'll get to it. Um, but essentially, this is a stack navigator. If you watch the image here, you can see that it pushes a page on top of another one. It's like a stack if you're familiar with that data structure, as the name suggests. So we're going to use this. So what I'll do, I'll scroll down, and uh, uh, we need to install the actual Stack Navigator package. So I'll copy that, and I'll go back to uh, my uh, terminal, and I'll type that out, and then paste it. OK, we've installed that. Um, and I'll also scroll down. And it says we need to install this dependency, uh, React Native Gesture Handler. So I'll go ahead and copy that too. Uh, so I'll go back to my terminal and paste that one and run it. All right, that's done. So now we should be good to go. If I scroll down, um, you should see how we use this. 
Um, oh yeah, there's this one here. It's saying to finalize installation, we need to add this line. Now I don't really know what this line does, but I'm gonna copy it anyway because underneath it says, uh, do not skip this step or your app may crash in production even if it works fine in development. All my stuff have worked fine in development even without this, but uh, yeah, I don't think there's error messages playing around. So I'm gonna copy that anyway. I'll go back to my um, Visual Studio code and I'll just add it at the top there like that. All right, now we should be good to go, I think. Um, so if I scroll down, there'll be examples of how to use it. We essentially just need to create a stack navigator and then we can use it as follows. So go back to uh, app.js. And if I scroll up um, above the app declaration, I'll say const and then uppercase S on stack like that equals create, uh, create stack navigator. Okay, so it's added the import. If it didn't automatically add that for you, make sure you add that directly by typing this out. And then I'll scroll down to uh, our app right here. And then what I'll do is get rid of this style here on this container. I'll also get rid of the text from inside of it. And then I'll put my stack navigator here. So I'll say uh, stack dot navigator like this. And then I'll put my closing angle bracket on. It should add the closing one for you. And I'll create some space underneath that. And then in there, I'm gonna do a similar thing. I'll say stack dot group like this, so I've created a stack group, and then in there is where I'm gonna put my actual screen. So I say stack.screen, and this should be a self-closing one, so make sure you only have this, you don't need a, a full closing uh, tag, there'll be no children on this. Okay, so here's where we put our screen. So in there, we'll give this a name, we can call this um, uh, main, it's the main view. Um, we'll say component can be, uh, oops, can be, home screen, will it add this import for me? Yep, home screen, so it's added this import when I press enter. Let me close this tab down. Um, yeah, so it's added the import for me. And I'll go ahead and set the title on this by setting the options, uh, and then I'll also uh, put my double closing brackets because this options needs to be an object like this. So uh, I'm, we're putting the object inside the options like that. And then I'm just gonna set the header title. So header title, it's just going to be um, translate like that. Let's give this a save and see what we get. If I run this, npm start. And then what I'm gonna do is kill the app. So I'll double press this home button here to open uh, this and I'll close it by swiping up on that. And then from my terminal, I'll press I again and it should open it on iOS. We should see pretty much what we saw before, just the home screen. Okay, we've got an error here, why is that? So I took a look over the code and realized that I put navigation provider here instead of navigation container. So what I need to do is change this to navigation container. Now if you're on Visual Studio Code, you can double tap this and press Control D and it will select the bottom one too, the closing tag. And you can, nav you can uh, change them both at the same time. So I can ch say uh, navigation, navigation container, like it's supposed to be, um, and make sure it imports correctly. So I've got navigation container there. And I can remove navigation provider. I didn't need that. So make sure it's navigation container. Now I'll save this and we should be good to go. So you can see here, we've got a title translate. Um, the home screen doesn't do much right now. Um, although we can't see this home screen right here. So that's a real simple fix. We actually do need to set a, uh, a flex style on this. So on the view that's surrounding the stat navigator, um, we can just say style equals and then put flex one in there. So make sure you get your double uh, curly braces because you're setting the value of this to an object. Now if I save it, you'll see we get the home screen text right there. Um, so yeah, we just need to make the, the view take up the whole height of the page.